So Yiri Prohashka versus Alex Pereira is quickly approaching, and you know something? I give every physical advantage to Alex Pereira. But I'll tell you what, there is one aspect of this fight that I am very curious to see how it plays out, because both of these fighters, one thing that they love doing is the second they slightly hurt their opponent, or their opponent's starting to get a bit tired and is trying to take a little rest, they pressure hard and they pour on the shots. Yiri absolutely melted Dominic Reyes with pressure. He tagged Dominic and then he was just all over him. And Reyes was throwing back and he even countered him with some pretty clean shots, but Yiri did not take a back step. He was like the Terminator, just constantly peppering him with shots. He overwhelmed him so excruciatingly. Reyes was a complete sitting duck waiting for that spinning elbow. That beating took nothing shy but years off of Dominic Reyes' life. That is how serious of a proposition fighting Yuri Prohoshka is. And Alex Pereira is the exact same way. He always wants to control the middle of the octagon, and as soon as there's blood in the water, he is going at you. He did this to Jan Blahovic as soon as he gassed out from the wrestling. He did it against Israel Adesanya in their second fight, which, you know, Adesanya game-planned perfectly for. Gotta give him a little bit of credit there. Even Sean Strickland, whose entire mixed martial arts game is built upon the fact that he constantly pressures you. Alex, he'd back up slightly, but he just kept circling, kept staying in the middle. He never let himself get pressured, which ultimately gave him a huge advantage in that fight, unlike Adesanya, who just let himself get walked down the entire fight. So we've got two guys in Yiri and Alex who both want to be the one pressuring their opponents. So how is that going to play out? In my mind, Alex is just going to do the exact same thing he did in the Strickland fight. He'll back up slightly, but he's going to constantly be circling. He wants to hold the center of the octagon. He's not going to let himself get pressured. And this is where I think Alex is going to have a huge advantage because Yiri thrives on the fact that he is very unorthodox and he overwhelms guys. But due to the fact that Yuri has what you can call spotty striking defense, he's playing a very dangerous game trying to walk down Alex Pereira. Because what Yuri does, he keeps both his hands low and he solely relies on head movement to avoid strikes. And he gets cracked a lot. Glover cracked him a bunch of times. Dominic Reyes landed a lot of good shots and almost finished him. Hurt him really, really badly. But Yiri, he has a very strong chin, and he demoralizes the guys he fights because he's sitting there right in front of you, hands down, chin out in the air, and he is just constantly pressuring you. You land a few shots, you think you hurt him, but he doesn't go away, and guys break mentally. It's a dangerous strategy, but it's an effective one when it works out. The issue for Yiri, he is fighting the worst guy you could possibly do this against. Because Pereira is a sniper, and he will knock you out if you give him the opportunity. Another big issue Yiri has here is he is very susceptible to kicks, especially calf kicks. He fights like a traditional martial artist. He stands very bladed, and he has a lot of bend in his knees because he loves throwing flying knees. Typically, because Yiri always backs his opponents up, it is extremely hard for them to throw kicks. We saw a great example of this when Strickland fought Adesanya. When you're constantly making somebody back up, it is next to impossible to be effective with kicks when you're constantly on the back foot. But since the odds are Pereira is not going to be on the back foot, he is going to be lighting him up with kicks. Tons of calf kicks to inhibit Yuri's movement, then the body kicks and the head kicks are going to open up. Unless Yuri can make significant adjustments to his fighting stance... That's what's going to happen. Speaking of Yiri's flying knees though, there actually is a circumstance I can see him catching Pereira very cleanly. See, Pereira loves to throw body jabs. It's his absolute favorite way to set up his left hook, is just to constantly hit you right in the solar plexus with a stiff jab. Now, I'm sure Yiri's team see this and know if they can time a flying knee right off the jab to the body, they can catch him. Now, here's the issue though. Why on earth would Pereira need to be throwing jabs to the body? 
Yuri's hands are already down. He doesn't need to bait him to lower his hands. He's doing it for him already. Though, you never know. It is borderline impossible to find people who can replicate Yuri's style. And you know Pereira has done thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds of sparring against orthodox fighters. That jab to the body, it could be just ingrained in him. In the heat of the battle, if he reverts back to his instincts, throws one of those, it could actually be lights out. But other than that one circumstance, how on earth is Yuri going to hit him with a flying knee? He stands way too tall, and that is the only time he ducks his head. But you would be an absolute moron to say Yuri doesn't have a shot here. Because Yuri fights with his hands so low, his punches come from angles you're not going to see from anybody else in the world. In fact, Yuri practically breaks all the rules of mixed martial arts. Sometimes this can be to his detriment, as he's a very long and rangy fighter, but he never uses his range to maintain distance. He gets right up in the face of his opponent. But against Alex Pereira, this is a good thing. Yuri is at a massive disadvantage if he tries to have a kickboxing match on the outside with the two-time glory kickboxing world champion. No matter how unorthodox he is, he wants to get on the inside and cause damage. But this also leads us to another area where I think Yuri is at a disadvantage. Being so wild and unorthodox, if Yuri had one punch knockout power, then I'd be saying welcome to the Yuri era, November 11th. Because let's not forget, Alex does get hit in his fights. But being such a high level kickboxer, you're never going to catch Alex running into a punch. Which is how you really hurt somebody. Izzy was able to do it because he took advantage of the fact that if he was hurt and he backed up against the fence, he knew Alex would unload on him. But you can see, Alex has plugged that hole up in his game. In the Jan Blahovich fight, there were times where Jan was backed up, both hands up, and looked like he was done. But this time, Pereira was very patient, he picked his shots, and he didn't just go crazy and leave himself open this time. So, of course, without a doubt, it is very possible Yiri lands a crazy shot, Alex gets a little hurt, Yiri pours the pressure on him, maybe finds a finish there. That's a bit optimistic, though. More likely, Yiri seriously compromises him if he's able to pour on some combinations. But at the end of the day, if you're having a firefight with Alex Pereira, I'm not picking against him. Not at all. Unless prayer was fighting Charles.